All right, guys, so glute bridges, what you want to make sure you're doing here is really driving through your heels. So also make sure that your heels are pretty close to your body so you can keep a full range of motion. The other thing I like to engage is my core here. So I do that by tucking my chin and helping, like I said, engage that core. And then as I drive up through my heels, I'm squeezing through the glutes at the top, keeping that core engaged. I find that if I tuck my chin, I really stop myself from overextending at the top which you see a lot of people doing through glute bridges, hip thrusts, any sort of position like this. And I can even bring my toes off the ground to help engage if I want to as well. A lot of times if you point your toes slightly out, whether they're off the ground or on the ground, that'll help engage as well. But the main thing here is keeping that core engaged and squeezing up through the glutes. All right. If you see that I ever have an isometric hold for the glute bridge, you're literally holding it in this position, all right? So you can keep those hands off the ground, you can keep them on the ground, whatever you feel comfortable with, all right?